the news. The intercity travel ban in Zimbabwe has been lifted and bus companies can now return to business. As correspondents for Iowa Kutuya reports, COVID-19 health measures will still be observed. The deserted Mbari Musika terminal might soon be back to its bustling self again with the resumption of long-distance travel that will allow a return to income for operators and social reconnection for grounded passengers. You can imagine a close relative falling sick and not being able to go and see them. I have personally lost some relatives whose burials I could not attend. At least now I can travel and pay my condolences. With over 10,000 direct jobs and many more in downstream industries hanging in the balance, the umbrella body of operators has taken the initiative to make the bus park compliant with COVID-19 prevention guidelines. We are erecting a perimeter fence, a palisaded security fence, to, 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 to try and, and create some security, to try and have a controlled entrance and a controlled exit. Where, whereby buses will be disinfected on the entrance. Uh, the bus crews will be screened on the entrance by the authorities. Two boreholes will be sunk to ensure there's adequate water supply. Some of the changes will address other long-standing concerns. The fence will reduce crime because these are stealing people's luggage and easily getting away. It will also make sure that we are boarding buses that have been vetted. That is crucially important in view of the pent-up desire to travel. In the past, undesignated pickup points have mushroomed as some operators try to avoid fees at the official termini. Because there's very little or no enforcement of safety guidelines, this popular stop for travelers to Zimbabwe's second city, Bulawayo, poses a health risk, but it also threatens the financial recovery of compliant operators. We have engaged the government uh, on that issue. Uh, we are going to enforce, the government is going to enforce uh, all the those who want to use those open places, illegal pickup points, the government has assured us that they will make sure that uh, there is no one who is going to use those facilities. Long distance operators are required to register with the Ministry of Transport and have their buses passed as roadworthy before they can start ferrying passengers again.